Hi, I'm Mr. Jackson from Lincoln Electric, and today I'll be showing you a step by step guide on how to set up a Powercraft 200M. For this guide, we'll be welding 5mm steel. The wire we're using is 0.8mm solid steel wire in a 5 kilo spool. The gas we're using is 80% argon and 20% CO2 mixture. You want to grab your regulator, put that end into the bottle, do it up tightly with a shifter. Next, you want to put your gas line into this side here, do it up tight with a shifter as well. Now with the quick connect end of the gas line, place onto the machine until it's fully secure. Now once that is all secure, you want to open up your gas bottle slowly and then increase your pressure by turning this knob to the right until you hit about 20 to 25 litres a minute. I'm going to grab this polarity switching cable and put that into positive terminal and fully tighten by hand. I'm going to grab the other end of the MIG gun, put it into the machine, making sure the pins are all lined up, push in and then fully secure by hand. Next you're going to get your earth cable and with the connector you're going to put it into the negative terminal and fully secure. Next you want to get your earth clamp and put it onto the material that you're welding. Because we're using 0.8mm wire, you want to locate the 0.8 symbol on the drive roll that comes with the machine. And you want to point that 0.8mm symbol away when installing. Once the drive roll is in, you want to make sure that the line on the drive roll lines up with the line on where the wire comes through the guides. Once that's in, you want to grab your retaining nut and fully tighten by hand, just like that. Now grab your spool of wire and place it onto the wire holder. And then put the nut back on and do up just by hand. Now with your pliers, Grab the end of the wire, making sure that it's on the bottom of the spool and push through the guide until you get to the drive roll and you want to make sure it goes through the next guide. Once that's in, place the holder down and fully secure. Now you want to set the tension on the drive rolls by turning this knob clockwise until you get to about three. Just like that. Now that the machine is all hooked up, I'm going to turn it on now. Now with the menu button, you want to push until you see on the top left corner, MIG Synergy. Then from there, you want to press set now you go into all your parameters. Now for the trigger mode, we want to go to 2T. So with the right hand knob, you want to turn until you hit 2T. And now you want to go down to wire material. In this case, we're building with mild steel, so you want to go FE, ferrous material. Now you want to go down to wire diameter. We're using 0.8 millimeter wire. So it's already set on 0.8. But to show you, this is how you move to go to different wire sizes. Now we go down to shielding gas. You've either got two choices. You've either got CO2 or 80-20 CO2 argon mix. With burn back, this stops you from burning the tip to the job. Now you want to set that to around about 3 to 4. Go into the next page. You want to set your pre-flow. Pre-flow is the flow of gas coming out of the tip before the welding. You want to set that to about 1.5. Now you go post flow, which protects the weld after you finish welding for a certain amount of time. 
we will set that to about the same time. Now we go down to slow feed. Slow feed is the how fast the wire comes out of the tip before you initiate the arc. This will set on around about 3. Once we're all done there, we press set again. So here you, we've got amps and we've got voltage. But below amps is the wire feed speed in meters a minute. Underneath volts is the size of the plate we're welding. Here we're welding 5mm plate. So now with the left hand knob, you want to dial up until you start to see that go up. It will go up to 5mm. And now we're set. Because we're on MIG Synergic, it's a one dial control where if you change your amps or up or down, it changes your volts automatically. So if you wanted to fine tune your voltage, you can go up and down on that. But if you want to go back to the Synergic line, you push the right knob until you hit trim and you bring that back to zero. Now you're back to the Synergic line. Now to feed the wire through the gun, you want to first take the nozzle off by turning it clockwise. You want to grab the pliers, undo the contact tip, unthread the contact tip. Now you want to press the feed button until it all comes out through the gun. Just like that. You can trim some of it back until around about 40 mil. You want to grab the contact tip, thread it through the contact tip. Again with the pliers, you want to tighten. And then with the nozzle, you can just push it all the way on. Now you're ready to weld.